We bought some trees! And a cabin! <laughs> What a four months. How did we get here? It's quite the journey. And it all begins on June 7th, 2021. Was that when we bought the land? Yeah, but we couldn't get in here because you know that things going on in the world and we were actually not even allowed to travel within our own country to different provinces, even if you bought property. Yes. I do remember that sure. now. Canadians. That was only four months ago. Look at what we've accomplished. How did we do it? I have no idea. When I go back to the day when we got here, I was emotional. You were shocked. I was very nervous. I looked around and I said, <laughs> this wasn't what was on the listing. It didn't look like this. It looked nothing like it. It looked cleared. Rewind to before cabin life. Before having this land. Cabin wives. <laughs> and Jocelyn and I were living in our van. We had been living in it now for two years. And we were travelers, adventurers. We had a dream of overlanding and driving from Canada to Argentina. That got cut short. We found ourselves back home in Canada. And we were looking at each other thinking, we need a spot for ourselves. And so we started actively looking at listings all across Canada, through the United States, Mexico, like coast Everywhere. to coast. And when we saw this spot, you knew. I, oh yeah. I even doubted it for a second, but it didn't take long. I think what sold us, the what sold us above everything was the drone shots, the yeah. aerial shots. There was a cabin nestled in acres and acres of forest, backed onto kilometers of bush, and we knew. And a lake right in front. You knew. We knew. I knew. And it was like, that was it. We were actually also 46 hours away, 3,000 kilometers away from this property, so the other side of Canada in BC, and this place is in Nova Scotia. We'd never been to the Maritimes, never been to Nova Scotia. Everyone said that people are really nice here, and it's really beautiful, so we took their word. And we bought it. <laughs> Truly, like we didn't even know if we'd be able to keep the cabin, if it was in any condition that would be livable or if we'd have to tear it down. But it was the forest. It was nature that drew us yeah. in. And it was exactly that when we got here. It would like blew our expectations out of the water. I'm very happy. It's yeah. really nice to have a space to call our own. Mm -hmm. It feels really good. This is, by the way, our very first property or house or purchase like this of any size or shape or form. Our van sitting out there. Oh yeah. Well, yes, Rocky, <laughs> our van will always be our first home. <laughs> I see you, Rocky. Our second home without, our first home without wheels. So when we came here for the first time, we were greeted with a dirt road, pretty sandy, a bridge that wasn't even really put together. Turns out. Turns out a dump truck actually went through that same bridge. So, here we were driving our heavy sprinter across the bridge with all of our belongings. We literally packed that van. It was a moving van. We showed up to the driveway, driveway, if we can even call it that. That story already makes me emotional. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I saw your face there. Wow. I just like pictured that photo of us with the JNC moving and I was just like, as, yeah. if, as if we did this. Paving it. And all of a sudden we are coming down a swamp driveway. Swamp, puddles, grass up to my waist, and full of ticks. <laughs> full of ticks. And we actually made it right to the end of it, 429 feet down. You couldn't even see the cabin when we got here. Girls, this is your house. <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm a little stressed. So check it out. We bought some trees. <laughs> Oh my goodness. What did we do? I was nervous. There was hardly a cabin, it was a bush. I sent my mom a photo and she said, you bought some nice trees? <laughs> <laughs> but then we walked up to the porch and the cabin is the one thing that blew me away. Look at this, it's actually bigger than I it's thought. Bigger. It's beautiful too, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to our second ever home, honey. Honestly, I didn't expect it to be in this condition. It's 26 years old. It was built with really good bones, if you remember from our first video. Good bones, good bones. <laughs> bones, bones, bones. <laughs> Arriving here to five acres that needed a lot of TLC and a lot of taming with no experience. That's what we wanted. It was shocking. 
shocking for sure. Especially because the only thing I've ever really done outside is pulled my lawnmower and cut the grass. I don't even, I had only cut the grass maybe twice in my life. Oh, I loved cutting the grass. Anyways, we had a lot to cut, not grass, bush, <laughs> and- A lot to tame. <laughs> a lot to tame. Yeah, our families were like, what are you doing? Really, when we took them photos? We were like, what are we doing when we got yeah. here as well? What did we just do? However, I knew you and I, and I think a lot of our close friends and family knew what we could do. And just like all of our, all of you believe in us, like you believed in us from the start. Yeah, and all of your tips and knowledge you yeah. shared with us and we were able to complete all these jobs. It's got us to where we are today. Every project was spur of the moment. This day yeah. that we picked up a clearing saw, we had no idea how to start it. We I actually have no idea what this means. We knew we had to clear. We didn't know how long it would take. Woo! Let's clear the land, baby! <laughs> we I thought it was going to take us all day. All of a sudden, I took a time lapse for 15 minutes and I said, wow, we're down the front of the house. We accomplished a lot. And ever since that day, I think I realized that if you just start something and start somewhere, you will be, like, the reward is amazing. It makes you feel so great and empowered and, like, it's very empowering. Yeah, and to share it with all of you it just makes it that much better because then you can help inspire others to do what they normally maybe wouldn't have done. Yeah. And from there, it just went on and up. <laughs> I think we've made 17 episodes at the cabin. It's been a series. <laughs> Four months and a lot of fun. I don't want anyone else because I we really wanted obviously was a driveway we actually couldn't even get our van down it became mud from that point forward we were like we need to deal with this immediately chris was on the phone and called a rental place that rents heavy machinery and then it all began Jackery. The Jackery's kept us powered in so many different ways at the cabin. The first being powering our tools. We charge all of our batteries. And they take a lot of watts. They're 250 watts to charge. So, sorry. You're specs. always the specs. <laughs> I was gonna say, you're so technical. The Jackery also charges all of our camera gear and our Starlink internet, which allows us to upload our YouTube videos from the cabin. As well as Nova Scotia has had a lot of storms come in lately, as well as we've actually had a state of emergency, which made people that normally have power, not have power. A lot of power outages. To someone that lives on grid, but if you had one of these as a backup, you wouldn't be without power, and that way you could stay safe and connected. Still watch your TV, listen to the radio, plug in your cell phone, read the news on here. Make your coffee. Essential. <laughs> the Jackery is not only for serious times, but for fun times like <laughs> camping, like being in the backyard, having dog parties, etc. etc. Jackery has supported our channel for a long time. If you've supported Jackery, thank you. We are very happy to be sponsoring with them once again, just in time for Christmas and the holidays. If you're looking to get yourself a Jackery for yourself or a family member or a friend, you can actually purchase some of your favorite Jackery models at 15% off from the 6th till the 10th of December, and that also includes the solar bundles for the 1000s and the 1500s. This is a great deal, and the solar panels are a great way to stay green and stay charged. So surprise your loved one with a jackery, or treat yourself. That machine changed our life at the cabin. Our property. Entirely. So <laughs> And the dog's lives, because now there's no longer ticks in that area. I can't tell you how badass it is to be sitting in an excavator, hopping in and out of it. The whole feeling is just like, wow, it's so empowering just to like learn how to use 
heavy machinery like that, I never, ever, ever thought that I would ever be able to drive an excavator. <laughs> And to be honest, I didn't even know what an excavator actually looked like. Or what they did. Like, I've obviously seen them on the side of the roads, but I had no idea when we were renting an excavator that that's what it would look like. Or what they were capable of. I started the driveway. We actually ended up meeting friends now, Porter and Larry, who own a quarry, and they were hauling rocks and stones <laughs> of all sizes of all, yeah. shapes and forms. And we learned how to make a base of a driveway, and then you go up and make the crown. We learned it all. Yeah. And did it all, which is super cool. Yeah. And I'll just never forget like them being like, wow, like you really know how to level. <laughs> like, wow, you're really doing it. Like, wanna come work for me? And we were like, we're doing it. Like, it's working, you know? Like, that was a huge moment. I thought we were like, yeah, we're making a driveway. We got a little trigger happy on the excavator. All of a sudden, we had a mud pit. And we decided, since our family was coming the next week, we needed a space to host everyone. So, the, and we love having people here. Everyone's welcome. So we were like, let's build an area that we can truly just relax at. And host. Mm -hmm. It was just, that was, <laughs> the funniest part is when we were in, in June 2020 when we hadn't even been here yet and we just, just tried to purchase it. We were like, we're gonna get grass. And we were like telling Tyler and Tom on the phone. And they were like, like, why are you thinking about grass? And we were and like, <laughs> we were like so stoked to have just a place to like, that's the, like van life, right? Like getting here, just a place to roll around in the grass and hang out, have a picnic, whatever. And just for the girls. And yeah. Then, sure enough, when that came to life, that was like, for me, that was just like, whoa. whoa. Like, it totally transformed this place. It transformed the cabin. The before and after shots yeah. were just like, whoa. And a place to like have a communal fire or just like relax outside and I, I don't know it was yeah it was. truly made this place feel more of like a home to have people laying the sod actually is something that I definitely underestimated but it is hard work it's long hours it's something it takes a while to do we laid it till three in the morning and yeah. we literally jumped in the lake just to get all the dirt <laughs> off of us get the earthworms off me yeah <laughs> Yeah. Like, you literally, as soon as we finished, our place finally became communal to the people we love the most, our family, our friends. Yeah, having and our family here was such a great moment. I'll never forget that. It's cool that they were also able to see the process because this is just like one chapter of like the cabin and put them all in the excavator. That was fun. Yeah. <laughs> our goal is to create this homestead to be almost 100% self-sufficient as much as we can get it. Mm -hmm. It's really important to us to live simple as well as have this area where we don't really need to rely on other things in order to get something, as in food or water, hence why we went ahead and got a drilled well. Yeah, that's part of like why we live here is like, the idea of being completely remote and completely self-sufficient. So it's just out here, us fending for ourselves. We want to grow our own food and like be able to use the water that's here and harvest our own water and use the sun for energy. All of these things tie them together and everything will function together as like a, it'll be like, it's, like its, own, its own little ecosystem out here and yeah. we'll work together. And, and also just being connected with the process. So out here, I've learned that like, you might have to take down some trees in order to put some new trees up that are gonna give you fruit or- I love that have, you said that. Or to have a garden. Yeah. So yes, we have to clear some trees. Mm -hmm. So here you see the entire process from A to Z. And the hard work and sweat that goes into these things, like actually working for your water or working for your food or taking and care and tending to land. It's like, it really is so much work. It's so rewarding and you're so much more happy and fulfilled with the simplest things, like mm -hmm. being able to have your own harvest. Mm -hmm. As well as being mindful of how much you're using. So just because you now have a drilled well doesn't mean you just want to leave your top off all day when you're doing the dishes. I still do the dishes how I do them in the pans or I never do the dishes. I'm you don't like, do the dishes. <laughs> um, but when I do do them, I will still do them the same. One thing that goes along with that is also the heat source that we've been using since we got that pile of wood. We've been using the stove to keep this place warm because the temperatures have been dropping well below zero every once in a while. That's also something I'm totally new to. I feel like you are to like moving wood in and out of the house. Yeah. Like, it's a lot of work and it's a really efficient and low impact way of staying warm. So one fireplace can heat this entire cabin, which is 625 square feet. And a lot of people are wondering if it's insulated and it is. Yeah, the cabin's insulated. Mm -hmm. So I think that brings us to like the roof and the completion of the cabin house. <laughs> <laughs> the roof. <laughs> when we bought this cabin, 
honestly, we showed like shots of it in B-roll and everyone's comment was, you need to replace the roof. All you need the to time. replace the roof. And after going up it numerous times, you were confident. I was confident, however, uh, as soon as I would get up there, I was fine, but like the getting up there, I was always like, oh, do I really wanna do this? Like, I'm gonna be carrying heavy, like a heavy nail gun, a bunch of stuff, and like I'm gonna be on there for a long time. It's a lot of planning. There's a lot of research behind the scenes where we were trying to figure out what all of this meant. But it's, <laughs> yeah. And then to actually doing it. And doing it yourself. One thing I will say is I don't think we knew how big of a job it was going to be. I think we <laughs> underestimated it a bit yeah. now. Two and a half weeks later. Guess what? What? <laughs> we're still on the roof. We were still doing the roof. It was a massive job for two people who had no experience roofing. But it's something we had to do. So we finally gained the courage after doing all these other jobs. We said, if we can drive an excavator, we can lay a roof. So we hopped to it and we called the roofing company and we laid a roof. I still can't believe we did it. That's <laughs> so surreal. There was a lot of ups and downs in the roof. Like this whole journey too. There was definitely moments where <laughs> it was terrible, remember? <laughs> terrible. <laughs> terrible. I thought like. Reflecting, I'm very happy we did it. Yes. However, I don't think I'd ever lay a roof ever again. Probably not. <laughs> Unless it's really small. I'm not that led us to our outhouse, but we laid another roof the next week. Because <laughs> we're Joss and Crystal. <laughs> yeah. If you've ever used an outhouse or stayed at a cabin or a cottage that has an outhouse, you'll know the importance and the absolute glory of having an outdoor bathroom. That was something that we wanted to do as soon as we got here. We were finally able to accomplish putting the siding on and the roofing on very recently. And it's super exciting to know that when we come back here, we have a beautiful outdoor restroom. Yeah. One of our very last and exciting projects that we did outside before it got too cold was put bulbs in the ground and flowers, garlic bulbs, we put- And not just any garlic. Garlic, special garlic from Ontario. Oh yeah, it came in the mail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the cool thing about garlic, just a little tangent, is that as the years go on and you produce more garlic, you, you just get more and more and more garlic. And garlic is the best. It's good on everything. <laughs> and it's super good for you. It's super exciting. So. Along with the bulbs, we planted trees and fruit trees. So apple trees, pear trees, plum trees. For the next few years, forever, we will have harvest. So that's very exciting. And that means that we can have a lot of pie and applesauce mm -hmm. and good Apple things. butter, apparently, everyone says yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. I'm so excited for next spring. Me too. There's so much to come too. Like we have so much planned for the new, for 2022. I've already made a list. <laughs> Same cabin 2022 project. A lot of people wonder if we're ever selling this cabin or if we're flipping it. We're keeping this cabin forever. Yeah. Like we're never leaving or getting rid of this cabin. That being said, we do plan on coming back and we have so much planned for our next season. And big projects. The next steps are electrical and plumbing, which it's a huge system that we're installing. We are gonna need an actual licensed electrician. We wanna do it right and we wanna make yes. sure that it's exactly what we have envisioned for our little cabin out here. So yeah. we're gonna do it, take our time. Good things take time. Yeah, the cabin is just a part of our life. It's, part, it's never leaving, nor is the van. It's just like different seasons. And we are creatures of change. Like we, we do love to change up the scenery, challenge ourselves. That's how we ended up here in the first place. Yeah. Um, we were really excited to do something new. We've also become really comfortable at the cabin and we know that it's good to put ourselves outside of our comfort zone. It's getting awfully cozy in here and we're spending a lot of time by the fire. Yeah. <laughs> and I do think that we could simply sit in here all winter, but we don't like to get into too much of a routine. We like to see to have new challenges in our life. They make you grow as an individual as well as a partnership and just overall as like a better human being. That's, you know, why we work so well as a couple. So keep challenging yourself and then you find new passions in life. Yeah. And that's pretty much how we got here. Yeah. This cabin has seriously changed my life. Changed my life. I'm a completely different person. We've learned so much. Yeah. It makes me so emotional. I just love this. I love this part. Oh, this space. I love this chapter of our life. <laughs> Me together. too. And I love that we could share it with you. It's- Are we both crying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna miss this place so much, to be honest. Yeah. But I know- It's gonna be so hard to leave. I changed the background of my phone to the cabin. <laughs> Because I know that we're, I'm gonna miss it and I'm gonna need to look at it every day. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'm necessarily
necessarily gonna miss like the material part of it. I'm just gonna miss our life here, like walking out this front door, not seeing a soul other than the trees. Like, yeah. Morning neighbors, it's Mr. Blue Jay and Pine and Spruce. It's peaceful. It, there's so much tranquility. It's been so good for us mentally and for the dogs. The dogs. Um, so that's, Bella is gonna miss this place the most. I think we're all just very, very content here and it's such a beautiful thing, but we also know that it's good to switch it up. It is really good to switch it up. It will allow us to grow, yes. like we said, yeah. so. And grow with you. And I just, I find every week people commenting like, so inspiring, so inspiring, like what you're doing. You know, you inspire me to like, clean up my garage or like do this. And it's like, we are so inspired by our community. We're so grateful for every one of you. And coming back each week is because we know we have this amazing pack and amazing community. And we appreciate every single one of you. So thank you for coming along on this thank journey you. with us and learning with us. Because like I said, we had no experience and you've supported us and you've given us all your advice and knowledge and encouraging words. And yeah, just we are happy to know that you love being here and that you feel happy when you watch our videos. That's why we're here. And yeah, we love you. We love you. Ciao.